Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. Welcome to Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang, and today I've got the 2010 Porsche Panamera 4S. With sporty handling, German engineering, Porsche styling, and four doors, the Porsche Panamera is redefining the sports sedan segment. It's got the signature sleek Porsche front end, but the proportions in the back are different, and they're exacerbated and made more noticeable by this low nose. While the back end is somewhat massive, Porsche engineers were careful to focus on efficiency and performance. So they used a lot of lightweight construction with the axles, the doors, the hood, the front fenders and tailgates, which are all made out of aluminum. This allowed them to lower the overall curb weight, with the Panamera 4S coming in at under 4,000 pounds. Without any identifying V8 badging on the exterior, only a true Porsche enthusiast will be able to distinguish the difference between the new six-cylinder models and the eight-cylinders. But there are some subtle exterior differences. The matte black treatment on the window surrounds has been replaced by a chrome finish, and instead of having twin brushed stainless steel ovals, you now have quad exhaust tips. It's got a 4.8 liter V8 engine that produces 400 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. You've got decent cargo capacity with this car. You've got over 15 cubic feet of space in the back, and if you lay the back seats flat, you've got over 44 cubic feet. Now the hatch opening is a little narrow, so loading big bulky items might be a bit cumbersome and challenging. The interior is pretty beautiful. You've got really nice comfy seats, a lot of space, and I've been thinking in terms of these mullet metaphors all week regarding how it's like sports car in the front, limo in the back. <laughs> Inside here you've got a wild onslaught of buttons. They are everywhere. You've got 14 on your door alone. Um, now, a lot of German car makers use these dials that you turn to rotate through or scroll through various screens to get to the utilities you're looking for. And here, they put all of the things that you're going to use most often in a you know, place where you can easily access them, such as your audio and your climate controls and the buttons that allow you to change your sport suspension. They do have a button located on the steering wheel that allows you to scroll through a little screen that appears right in front of you here. Um, and it shows you things like your tire pressure. It also has a stopwatch feature, which is very cool and you know very much Porsche spirited, though I think it's probably pretty hazardous to use while driving. I tried. <laughs> now there's a ton of options, as always with Porsches. You can really customize this car. You can spend over eight grand on some carbon ceramic brakes, six grand on the 16 speaker surround sound system. You can get your air vent slats covered in leather for 2,500 bucks. But less excessive options aside, um, the V8 does come with a generous amount of equipment. There's standard power seats and dual zone climate control, a seven inch color touchscreen nav unit with a 10 speaker audio system, and a power moonroof and lift gate, as well as bi-xenon headlights. Now one very cool thing is that you get to choose between these different drive modes to fit your particular preferences on any given day. In normal mode, it's very soft and leisurely. If you engage full sport mode, it really sharpens every aspect of the driving dynamics, including the throttle response most noticeably, as well as the suspension firmness and the ride height. You can actually manually raise and lower the car. One thing I'm not excited about are the blind spots. Your A, B, and C pillars are all really pretty monstrous and it's a very big car. It doesn't really feel like one, you know, to their credit, when you're driving it, but it's, it's big and you've got to be careful. The proportions are not what you're used to with Porsche. Now, despite the size of the car, the cornering capabilities are pretty impressive. It handles very nicely. It's very self-assured. Now, I'm a die-hard manual transmission fan. I've never purchased a car that wasn't manual, but the dual-clutch transmission in this car, it's phenomenal. I can't say anything bad about it. The PDK, it just it shifts faster than anyone ever could in a manual transmission. Now, with the PDK gearbox and the auto stop-start function, these new models are actually more fuel efficient than the normally aspirated V8 counterparts. You get 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 on the highway. And when you take into consideration the weight of the car, the horsepower, the torque, that's pretty good. And importantly, it's good for you to know that you will not be subjected to the gas guzzler tax in the U.S. In order to buy this car, you need to have some money because base model costs just under 94 and our test car came in at just under 115. Oof. Now, I get to drive a lot of awesome cars and each garners its own fair share of attention. But this car has gotten more attention than anything I've ever driven. While I was in stores, I would come outside and there would be people standing around it, peering in the windows. It's quite a piece of eye candy. Doubts about the 2010 Panamera 4S have been proven unfounded. It's a true Porsche and its sales are strong. 
So if you want a car with sporty performance but you need a sedan, the 2010 Porsche Panamera 4S might just offer you the best of both worlds. That's all today for Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang and I want to hear from you. Send us your comments, rate our videos and join our community by subscribing to our channel. Um, it also has a stopwatch, so if you're trying to crash your car and do some zero to 60 tests, you can absolutely do that with accuracy. That's bad. Let me start over. It really is, though. Like, want to crash today? Use the stopwatch, Jesse. You know? <laughs> and the car got mad at me. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Okay. What is up with the key? Do you see this? It's shaped like a little car. Look at the big badge. It takes up the, the little... <laughs> Panic. What happens when we press that? Oh. <laughs> Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.